Hi, I'm Jenna Cunningham. I'm the resident engineer at the Upper Ohio Resident Office at Montgomery Locks and Dam, Monaca, Pennsylvania. Um, we just finished construction of a batch plant pad. That's this retaining wall that you see here. It's actually holding up the pad, so let's go take a look. All right, here we are. This is the batch plant pad. We just finished construction on this uh, a few months ago. We first started here um, probably about a year and a half ago. What we had was a wooded hillside. So basically this hill that we have over this way just extended all the way down to our parking lot where we just were. We built two retaining walls, the concrete one that you just saw, and then this one as well, this is the south wall. And then we leveled the pad in between them, built it up and stabilized it here. The whole purpose of having this pad is because we need a place to produce concrete in support of our upcoming mega project, which was recently awarded um, in October to build a new lock chamber. Um, we'll be building a 100 foot wide chamber that replaces a 56 foot wide chamber um, that's in pretty poor condition. We need to produce a lot of concrete upwards of about 400,000 cubic yards. So it's not feasible to truck it in. We also have really specific concrete that was specifically designed for our needs here. Concrete will be produced basically right where we're standing. Here in the next several months, we have to actually build the batch plant now. So the actual concrete producing equipment will be here. And trucks making deliveries of aggregates, sands, and that type of thing will come from the far end of the site. Material will be stored at the far end of the site, moved to this area, concrete will be produced, and then will be conveyed over to the lock and the construction site via a set of elevated conveyor belts. Um, and that's how the concrete will get over to where it needs to go. The concrete will need to get over to our future construction site. Like I said, that's to build a new river chamber. So here in front of us, we've got our two active chambers, land chamber closest to us, river chamber further away. River chamber is the one that is getting replaced. One of the first things that we'll need to do is start demolition of our existing walls, um, starting with the guard walls and eventually the uh, existing river wall. That's so we can build a new middle wall and a new river wall. We'll coffer dam that off and then um, build the uh, chamber features um, after we're able to dewater. That's all several years away, but the demolition should be starting here in the next year or so. So the Army Corps of Engineers owns and operates Montgomery Locks and Dam. That's done with our own staff, our own operators, our own maintenance crew out of our operations division. So we will have to be very careful to make sure that we accommodate their needs because the land chamber stays in operation for pretty much all of the construction of the new river chamber. So we need to make sure that we work very closely with them to ensure that they're still able to do their job and keep industry moving through the lock and dam throughout this construction project. Getting this project started via in the wet construction is also the reason why we need our own batch plant is so that we can produce the concrete that's capable of being placed in the water um, for those specific needs. So we will start this construction in the wet. Uh, we will not finish it that way. We will build a portion of the middle wall in the wet and then we will call for dam to build a temporary structure around a piece of it that we've already built. And then we will pump the water out of that structure and finish the construction in the dry. Thanks again for walking with me on our tour of the batch plant pad that we finished this past year in 2024. Upcoming year, 2025, it'll be a big year for us. We're gonna build the actual batch plant that's gonna produce the concrete that we need to build a new river chamber at Montgomery Locks and Dam. Thank you again for walking with me. Um, next update will be coming at some point here in the near future and we'll see you then.